But, you know, from, from your side, I mean, you've been in the, the church for, for quite, quite a bit of time. And, you know, fellowship, you know, what, like, what's the deal? You yeah, know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's a good, I mean, it's a good question. You see, I think, you know, if, a, if, if the foundations aren't laid properly mm. and you put, it, it shows when you start putting a load and you start yeah. putting pressure on. True. And I find that, you know, when you first get saved, there's this period where you don't have to give yourself too much because you're just so excited. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then, then life begins to put a load on you and a pressure yeah. on you. And your foundations then get found out. Mm. If you haven't been intentional about taking steps and developing foundations in your faith, then that's where people often, they crack. Their, yeah. their faith or their... Or their um, they trust in the Lord cracks and, mm. and I, it either breaks or it gets strengthened. Yeah. And I see a lot of people falling away from the Lord because they've lacked foundational building. Mm. And so where fellowship is so important is that the fellowship kind of brings it all together. Yeah. Like you'll get found out pretty quickly mm. um, if you fellowship with other believers. You know, you're yeah. gonna, they're going to talk about something and you have no idea. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, and it's not to find you out in a bad way to mm. expose you. It's like, oh, flip, there's actually way more to this mm. Christianity thing. There's more to this walk with God yeah, thing so than I realize. And, and what's beautiful about fellowship is that you get to see theology worked out in practice. Sure. Because there's one thing to know the scriptures or to read the Bible or to be clever mm. about the Bible. It's a whole other thing to apply it to your life. Yeah. And, and people are saying now in this current generation that it's not for a lack of knowledge. People have knowledge. Yeah. People have access to information, but we've lost the ability to apply wisdom. Mm. And so what where we discover wisdom in our theology or wisdom in our faith with Jesus is really walking with other believers who have done it for 5, 10, yeah. 15, 20, 25 years yeah. and are still passionate about the Lord and still growing in Him. Mm. So fellowship for me is the game changer. Yeah. Um, because, yeah, you can read your Bible by yourself, you can pray by yourself, mm. but you can't do fellowship by yeah. yourself. Because <laughs> <laughs> There are, that's a problem. Yeah. That is problematic. Mm. Um, and so fellowship for me is the one that I, I know, I can almost say with certainty yeah. that if someone is not walking with other people in a relationship with the Lord, they will fall away from the Lord. Yeah, Certainly they'll fall away from the congregation of mm. the, the building of the Lord, of the church. Yeah. Um, and that's not about an ownership. That's just, I'm, I'm just isolating and disconnecting mm. myself. Yeah. And generally, that's the that's those are the people that the enemy goes after. Mm. So, if I, I've kind of in my head always got this, like for people who are new to faith, mm. they've got like a 12, 18, 24 month window. Yeah, where if they don't get connected Plugged into in, yeah. a fellowship, like into a group or into a team that serves, yeah, or somewhere where people can do a relationship, we probably won't see them in two yeah. years time. That's true. That's true, and uh, and. 